The Ice Cream Vanishes by Julia Sarcone Roach. Keep your eye on the acorn. I'm Squirrel. I'm a natural at making snacks disappear. Exceptional at eating them, brilliant at hiding them, and as soon as I figure out the right magic words, I'll be the amazing squirrel vanisher of snacks by magic. I just need to sniff out the right snack and the right magic words. Abracadabra. I've tried many different snacks. I've chattered every magic word I could think of and did all my fanciest tail swishes. Presto, acorn obigano, scoot scurry scram, by the swoosh of my tail, please? But no luck, the acorn doesn't budge. Just then, a song jingled through the trees, and that is when I saw it. Hello? It is soft and cold, like a sweet summer snowball. This is ice cream. A chill zips down my tail. Could this be magic? This might be the snack I've been looking for. I know just who can help me make it disappear. I scamper to our spot and find the warm lump snoring in the sunshine. I set down the ice cream. Waking Bear takes all four paws. Good morning, rise and shine. Wake up, Bear. You've got to try this. And sometimes many loud magic words. But when we turn around, the ice cream is gone. I, I put it right here on this hot rock in the sun. It's vanished. There could only be one explanation. I was a magician at last. Could we find more ice cream to disappear? My nose twitches. My ears prick up. I hear the faraway call of the ice cream. We follow the song. It stops, but we keep going. It leads us to a cave full of snacks to practice magic on and hats, piles of top hats and party hats. I'm excited to try again. I hope I can do it. Bear is ready to put on a show. Step right up, step right up. Birds and bugs, rodents and reptiles, furry, feathery, scaly creatures of all kinds. Direct from the branches above, it's the amazing squirrel. Vanisher of snacks, here to dazzle you with an act so incredible, it must be seen to be believed. Prepare to be astounded. Feast your eyes on this beautiful and delicious ice cream. Watch as my assistant, Bear, covers it with a mystical napkin. Listen as I say the magic word, abracadabra. And then, behold, the ice cream vanishes. Except it didn't. Maybe the ice cream didn't hear me. Maybe that wasn't the right magic word. I try again. Presto! Ice cream cone obigano! By the swoosh of my tail, 
Scoot, scurry, scram. Please? Still, no. What had I said to make the ice cream vanish before? I took a deep breath, remembered the sunshine and the snoring. I had it. Wake up, bear. You've got to try this. It worked. We did it. Ta-da. The ice cream vanished. Don't ask me how it's done. A good magician never reveals their secrets, but a great magician always shares the snacks. The show was such a hit that everyone wanted to make things disappear. Inside there were icy crunchers for the raccoons, sweet snowballs for the bunnies, shivery drippers for the birds, and so many hats. It turns out that we were all good at magic. Once every crumb, drop, and sprinkle had disappeared, everyone left with a belly full of magic, a tale of adventure, and a party hat. I took one last treat away for later, burrow into bear, and between snores we mutter magic words. And when we woke up, once again, the ice cream had vanished. But I wasn't surprised. I am the amazing squirrel. And together, Bear and I are very good at making snacks disappear. So good we could even do it in our sleep.